Welcome everybody. This is my snapshot video for 13W42A. The numbers are all running together here. It's really uh, kind of uh, confusing. Uh, but uh, today we have the custom sound update. But, um, let me show you these really quick. So this one here uh, just is the code for playing a um, uh, a sound or a set of sounds, which we will go into how to do that in just a quick second. But if you just click this, you can kind of hear it. I turned the button sounds off uh, because I didn't have time to normalize the audio files. So YouTube will get it normalized, but you live streamers won't. But if you just click the sound, it, it plays the sound. I mean, that's a Star Wars Jawa, right? Um, this one uh, is randomized sounds. You can actually create a script uh, using JSON, uh, which I will show you in just a minute, uh, to create a set of sounds, a list of sounds that uh, the game randomly chooses from. Well, maybe. There we go. See? So you can kind of, uh, I don't know, have a conversation between these two. See? So it's just goes like that and you can uh, it, it's a it's a fun thing for for um, map makers and trust me I will be using this uh, when it comes time uh, when we get around to doing that for the link to the past uh, map that I'm working on a couple more changes um, the oh yeah we were going to go into the the JSON and stuff like that right so let me do that really quick so let's get rid of Minecraft and let's go to the notepad so if you see right here this section here defines um a group of sounds so it's just one sound right now on this one uh this one has four sounds and this one has uh one sound as well and this is the sound i used uh at the beginning of the video uh so this sound is the, is the group of sounds and this is the name right here at the top that you call out um, in, t in um, this thing right here. So this says Java. So we go back to this thing. You would, this would be Java right here. Uh, this is the folder path. So that, that the sounds are residing in. And if we open that up, this is going to be what our, um, resource pack that we're using looks like. So this you're going to go into asset, you're going to create a folder. It's going to have these in here. Um, the pack.mc meta, oh crap, did I, see if I can extract that and open that notepad and see if I can get that to work with, um, oh heck, okay, hang on just a quick second. Let me add a window. Okay. All right. So there it is. You can kind of see it's a little, um, little zoomed out. But uh, if you look at uh, high definition, you should be able to copy this um, syntax for your video uh, for your own resource packs. If you just put this video on pause. Um, so let's go back and let me disable that. So this is the folder structure. Uh, at, we have the assets folder, which has a Minecraft folder. I actually forgot to put this in uh, when I created when I was trying to put together this resource pack so your sounds don't work if you if you don't put them in the minecraft folder uh, but if we go into the minecraft folder we see sounds and we see sounds.json now sounds.json is this little um notepad file right here okay and then we go into the sounds folder which is what is called out here this folder here you can actually name it anything you want but i use sounds because i was using seth bling's video as a reference and so he his had sounds so i just used that that file name that folder name so we're going into sounds you can see all these things right here are dot og files uh you're going to need some kind of uh program that can save your files as .og files. Uh, if you use Adobe Audition, it will also save a .xmp file. 
uh, along with the og file that's named the same. So you'll have utini.og and utini.xmp or yeah, I think it's XMP. You want to delete those XMP files before you zip this up and uh, put it into a resource pack. Um, so that is pretty much all we got here for that. You can, you should be able to create your own resource packs just from um, the information I've given you right now. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And oops, where's my Minecraft? There it is. Okay. So, uh, to add a resource pack, you just go into options and you click on resource packs. And I already have it enabled, but let's disable it and let's say, just say it's in this list. You just click this little arrow icon and it moves it over here. So you can actually have multiple resource packs running at the same time. So I let's say I want to move to the Aetheris Ascended textures. I just move it over, click done. And boom, there I am. I'm in the Aetheris Ascended resource pack. Now this is not been snapshot friendly so i'm getting gonna get rid of it all right we'll go back all right now we're gonna move on to the other little changes uh last week you'll remember i made this little mario statue out of stained glass the stained glass textures have changed as you can see they are more see-through more transparent um when you have multiple uh blocks of the same color next to each other you cannot see the little little wall here like so it just disappears but you can see the walls when you have different colors butting up against each other so that's an interesting effect um and i i believe i already said the colors were more see-through so it looks more like regular glass and less like stained glass now uh slightly colored glass anyway uh the other thing is um that i learned is that wool colors here they now show on maps. So this is another map ma maker thing. You know, if you um, want to enable your, uh, if you want to import custom images using a mod um, and use maps to display them, um, you now have more colors to choose from. So that's going to mean higher quality images. The other thing that is on here that's worth mentioning is, um, how do I do this? Oh, difficulty change it to hard and we should get um some creepers and things spawning in this forest um and we should also have ooh, some other things i may cut this out for the youtube video and just switch over to when i find one they're around here somewhere i'm pretty sure ah here we are Okay, guys, I found them. So here's what I've been trying to trying to show you. Witches are now part of the normal spawn. Um, I heard a rumor that this is only for Halloween, so it may go away for the actual um, 1.7 release. They spawn, looks like in groups of two, and they are really rare spawns. So they'll still spawn, but it's still pretty rare. So the, your best chance of doing a witch farm is to go find a witch hut. And uh, yeah, so I had to run through two different worlds, spend 15 minutes just searching for these. So that should tell you how rare this is. Uh, anyway, so that's probably going to do it for me. I can't think of any more features that would be um, noteworthy for a video, at least that I can show you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So auf Wiedersehen, arrivederci, hasta la vista, and goodbye.